Team driving, is it worth it? What's it like? Today I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons of riding around in an 18 wheeler sharing the driving seat. So first I'm gonna say this, two truck drivers in a truck is two totally different things than when you have a passenger in the truck. So if you and your friend are driving a truck, it's a different situation than you and like a friend or spouse or significant other or whoever riding in your truck. So that is two totally different situations. So you can have your buddy riding with you or you know, whoever, but when you share a truck as far as driving it, there's two totally different scenarios. And here's why. Number one, if your shift is over with and you're riding by yourself, you can just hop in the bunk, take a nap, you're good to go. But when you have a teammate or you know another driver to share the truck with, then they're driving while you're sleeping, and you're probably you know thinking, well, what's so bad about that? Well, I'll tell you. One thing people don't talk about team driving is how hard it is to sleep while somebody else is going down the road. Like, so you're back here trying to you know get your 10 hours of rest or however long you need to sleep, and you got your teammate driving. And when you're back there in the bunk, what people don't tell you is like, it is really hard to sleep with the vehicle in motion because your brain will play so many tricks on you. Like you're laying down and the truck's going down the road and your teammates doing everything fine. Like there's nothing wrong. So everything, that means speed limit. They're not, you know, swerving through the traffic. They're just going straight down the road. But your brain is going to play some final destination stuff on you. Like nobody, nobody's business. Like, you're uh you, you in your head you see the whole truck just like derailing and coming off a mountain and you're about to like just roll over like i don't know why but you get these worse like you get these terrible visions that the truck is just about to go off the rails and it is a nightmare so uh one thing that's hard to sleep so that's one con of team driving that i don't like is it's really hard to sleep with the truck moving number two is you have less room for your stuff. So think about that. Think about all the stuff that you have to bring with you. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a video about all the things that you do need on the truck for those of you who don't know what uh, what truck drivers have to keep with them in the truck. So I'll make a video on that soon. And so if your partner's trying to bring, you know, this whole 10 month vacation worth of clothes and you're trying to bring every piece of clothing you've ever owned all into the truck, you're not gonna have that much room. Uh, the next thing is you have less privacy because if you're a solo driver and you're by yourself, you can black out the whole windshield and the windows with your curtains and do whatever you want to do. Nobody's going to know what you're doing. But if you have somebody with you in the truck and, you know, uh, then you have less privacy because you have that person there all the time. Now, a lot of times trucks will have like a curtain that goes like right here, like mine doesn't. But so you have that in addition to the blackout curtains or some trucks are like either or. So you might have a little more privacy, but if you do, you're still not gonna have that much room because it's like, you know, you got curtain and then like this much room between the bed. So you don't have that much room to stand around. Whereas if you're solo, you can just stand right here on the floor and you have all the room because the windshield windows are blacked out. So you got no room for storage. Uh, you got less uh, privacy. It's hard to sleep and above all if you've ever had a sibling uh, a roommate or you just live with someone or maybe you had a job before where you were close with somebody like uh, like how you see on TV with the cops and they have partners and you know they ride around and go on each other's nerves so if you've ever had somebody close like that just remember truck drivers don't go home every night so when you team drive you're putting up with that person 24 7 most over the road drivers are out for three weeks at a time. So just remember that, that's, what is that, 21 days you're gonna have to put up with somebody. So just uh, just keep that in mind. So if you got one person who's like blasting the newest song of whatever that just came out and you're tired of hearing it and you're trying to go to sleep and you're yelling, hey man, turn that off. And he's like, no, nah, it's my favorite part. And he cranks up louder and you know, you're gonna have to put up with him or her that's just getting on your nerves. So 
that right there is one of the reasons why I do not like team driving. I've had to ride around with a trainer when I first started and then I had to do like this whole team setup one time with this other company because of like how my driving record was and they were the only ones that hired me under that condition and long story, I'll put that in a different video, but but yeah, so I had to ride around and uh, do that and I just, I don't wanna do it. It's too much headache. When you're a solo driver, you get to make your own rules hours you drive when you want to drive and you you know uh i feel like it's a lot more peace of mind just like not having somebody to put up with i you know i put up with myself and that's enough and, like i get on my own nerves i don't need somebody else to do it for me so but the benefits are you get paid more you get more miles the truck doesn't stop moving so you never have to worry about you oh, know well, i'm running out of time blah 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 no, the load will get there on time and it'll get there a lot faster and uh, if you want to stop and see roadside attractions you can because you got all the time in the world but those are my pros and cons for team driving <laughs>